Welcome back, Kerbonauts, to another edition of Kerbal Space Program Adventures. We're here with the new .20 update, and we're going to get right to it. It's got a lot of amazing stuff in it. New things, new goodies. Oh, yes. Let's get to it. So, first off, you'll notice there's a flag there. Oh, my God. When you click it, brings up other flags. Apparently, you can edit flags. You can make your own flags. Flags, flags, flags. Oh, my God. I can put a flag in it. Dang it. I'm so happy. So, you, when you change it, it it changes it here in your in your little space center. I like the squad flag because it's sick. I'm going to start off by showing you some really cool stuff. When you're building a brand new spaceship, you don't have to start with a pod. Ah, oh, thank God. Like, like, say, for instance, you wanted to, I don't know, start with a structural panel. Boom, structural panel. Check that out. Oh, amazing. Amazing! Whatever uh, pod you bring in first will be the manned pod. If it's a probe core, it will be the probe core first that controls it. And when you put in a next, it will not load any kerbals into the command pod by default. So here, let me show you. Boop. See, look at that. Hey, hey. And another cool thing. You can remove the command pod from the core part. This becomes the anchor. See, whatever you put in first becomes the anchor. Do, 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 do. Really neat. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That may become tricky, though. The first one becoming the anchor, you know, you might not want to tuck it away so much that you can't grab it without disturbing pieces. So anyway, moving on, let's uh, jump into um, all the new parts. Point two oh parts. Awesome, awesome. I made a little vehicle here in my spare time. Made a little vehicle just for you. Oh, notice that the loading time, I don't know, from from the space plane hangar to physics load, which was now, uh, I've noticed that the uh, load time is quicker. Oh, look, failures. Um, it's quicker to me. I, I don't know, maybe my computer's just running better. So let's uh, start off by showing you the new wheels. Ooh, ah, new wheels, new new wheels. Ooh, ah, look at my wheels. They uh, turn and they rotate and they're wheels. Sweet. They have a maximum speed tolerance of 60 meters per second, which sucks. I wish it was like 120 or like 240, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. So, uh, check out the uh, lander can. It's the one man lander can, and he's in it. Sweetness. Sweetness, isn't it? I, I know you're excited. Look at that. You can drive around, have a good old time. Kerbals, they don't move yet. Be so sick if he, like, like, like not like taking his hands off the steering wheel while we're going down a like a cliff so uh yeah pretty sick we saw this before in the uh in the live stream though so uh nothing really like entirely new if you've been paying attention to the community um all right moving on to the next sweetness we're gonna deploy this ladder and start walking over To like what I think is probably the single most badass thing around. It's an external seat. Its official name is, geez, I don't know. I can't click it when he's in it. Huh. I don't know what its official name is, but it's a damn seat. And when you attach it to the outside of your ship and send a Kerbal out to it, he can then pilot the ship from the outside on a super cool seat, which I've attached separatons to, so we can kill our Kerbal. There is a uh, parachute on there, but, um, you know, 
unfortunately we need him to uh whoa whoa hey that's perfect check that out the can dislodged so what i can do is kill this kerbal <laughs> All right, that did nothing, but let me show you the rest of the parts before we go into that can. These uh, discs here, the big one and the little one on the sides, they are rover cores. Boom, look at that. New unmanned vessel attachments. You put these on a pretty big rocket or make a pretty sick rover. Uh, I imagine it for like an unmanned like uh, space taxi. Moving kerbals from one planet to another, or supplies, gas depots, and, and whatnot. So since I uh, killed a kerbal and, and bailed, we're going to restart real quick. Let's get rid of that seat since it's bad luck. You are bad luck, seat. Let's go and take a look at the Cupola command module. It is super dupola, the coolest command module like ever I've ever seen. As you see it, it's laying on its back, so the nose of it here is a big window, and that's where he's looking out right now. Uh, an inning Kerman is laying on his back. Dirty little Kerman. Let's go check it out. See, he's laying on his back right now, looking straight up. This is going to be sick in space. Reminds me of, like, the B-52 bomber or something like that. Uh, so that's pretty sick. So let's uh, EVA him out of there. You can uh, check it out a little more on your own, I'm sure. Um, but check out these discs. Oh, man. These discs are awesome. Uh, these are Clampatron Senior docking ports. Oh, my God. They're huge. Talk about, like, docking for the blind. I, I think that you could dock anything with these. It's going to make for some serious, serious space stations. It's going to make for a ridiculously easy docking. If it, It's got to have, like, I mean, if that thing has magnets on, it's going to pick up something from five feet away. I mean, ridiculous. So that's that's a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun working with those. I've set up a neat little thing. It's going to detach and uh, get rid of our cupola. Co cupola. Good boy. Awesome. Awesome. So that was that. Let's go back to the infield view. Take the brakes off this puppy. And crash it. Because things need to be crashed. Whoa. I kind of landed that. Whoa. Wobbler ship. Wobbler ship. We're still good. Oh. Oh. We got a bum tire. Dang. They like don't even want to go any. Whoa. They jumping around. Look at that. He. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yeah, they just, like, stick to the ground. Man, that's weird. Weirdness. Oh, well. Going to the tracking station. Show you the new things. Look, you can track every bit of everything that's going on. Your landers, your rovers, your probes, your debris. Oh, my God, your debris. You can click debris. Individually highlight your debris pieces. Get rid of them. Check this out. Planetary information. Nice little paragraph or two about a planet and all the information you need to know about the gravity, what, how much meters per second of escape velocity you need to get off the planet's surface, uh, the highest point of elevation I think is on there, so you'll know, uh, uh, you know pretty much how high you need to stay in order to capture an orbit. Um, really cool information and it's it's listed for every planet 
super cool things. And uh, one thing I forgot to do while I had a Kerbal. We're going to create a new ship here. Launch that bad boy. And launch it loading. That was pretty cool. It's loading up parts and pieces, so I should probably get rid of those. Do, 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 do. But we're going to go ahead and end this episode in the name of Squad. That's right. Planting a flag in all its glory into the cement. We're going to name this Parts Are Cool. Point two zero is like 2.0. Yay. I don't even know what that means. So it looks like it's a one-sided see-through flag. The back side being sideways. You can take it down and you can read it. Look at that. 0.20 is like 2.0. Oh my god. Should be on a t-shirt. Let's see if there's an animation to take it down. No, there is not. It just disappears. He sucked it up. It's uh, pretty sweet. So that's it, guys. If you don't have Kerbal Space Program, you should have it. And if you haven't downloaded 2.0 yet, 0.20, go and download it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.